Okay, so welcome to this uh, Fat Frank's River Terrain tutorial. And I'm so sorry it's taken all this time to do it. I know it was requested I do it. See, the pieces I've got in my hand there, that's Fat Frank's River Terrain. And I wanted to make a tutorial as to how to go about it. Basically, it's gasket rubber. Okay, and you want to get one millimeter thick gasket rubber. Um, anything else, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Trust me on that. I've tried multiple ways of trying to get the same sort of effect um, and now he uses the same technique for his rivers and his roads and I'm sorry this tutorial isn't um, as you know high of a standard as my other ones but uh, I did it a long time ago I filmed all, I filmed it all a long time ago um, but it's been bugging me ever since uh, it's been on my desktop thinking I need to get this on YouTube, I need to get this on YouTube and I just couldn't, I can't afford to buy all the materials and start from scratch so basically what I did there is I drew out some river sections that I wanted for my river terrain as you can see just using a steel rule and a 2B pencil I believe it was as long as you can see the markings on the rubber the rubber cuts quite nicely with a large pair of scissors as you can see there you don't need knives or anything, knives don't work tried it yeah yeah you can cut it out but it's easier with scissors so here I am I'm just cutting them out now and as you can see Here they are all cut out and what I'm using now is cheapy poster paint, cheapy brushes, I'm gonna, these are so I got from my local supermarket, 99p a pot or something, I don't know, just cheap paint, whatever colours you want for your, your water, I'll just whack it on with a paintbrush basically. Actually this is the first time I've seen this for nearly a year I would say so first time you first time me really <laughs> so I, I'm just uh, looking at trying to remember what I did so that's right I just pulled it on nice cheap brush and whacked it on as you can see trying to get a nice lineage of the water goes on quite well on the rubber gasket rubber and the thing about it is, you can fold it up and for ages and it doesn't misshape it. It always goes back to being flat, which is great. That's what I love about these gasket pieces. So yeah, if you want to start doing it, just look up on eBay or wherever. I think I got these off eBay. Yes, I did. It's got a sheet of gasket rubber. Just type in gasket rubber and you can get it in sheets. Cut it and do whatever you want with it. So there you go. I added a little bit of white in to the mix as well, just to mix it up a bit, as you can see there, which is what I'm demonstrating now. Perhaps I lost the footage on that part, I don't know. But uh, yes. So there you go. Got all the blue on and around the bend. Now it's time to flock and get the sides of the river done. Now you can do this with sand, grass. I did a mixture of both at this stage. It's important to mark like, the edges of each section, say, I don't know, 5 mil or whatever, so that, it's, that you, you can do your whips however wide or narrow you want in between, but at the edges they've got to be the same. That's so you can put different pieces in any order that you want. 
otherwise it will look strange. The edges won't match up, so that's, that's all you got to do really. PVA glue, nothing more, nothing less. I just poured it into a pot. I didn't water it down or anything. Just paint it on the edges and anywhere you, anywhere else you want, flock or sand, stones or, or whatever you want to put on the sides. Obviously lay newspaper down like I've done there if, if you're doing it on your dining room table. Otherwise you'll be in trouble. So the glue's all on. Just put some sand on. Can see. Yeah, you believe I speed it up, would you? <laughs> it takes its time. Boot to speed. Like I say, once they're done, that's why. And after this, we're going to be going for a um, to get a, a more glossy texture on the water. I'm going to try and use a Vallejo water effect on top, which is a bit of a, like a thick, not the liquidy stuff I don't believe, but uh, that's what we're going to be going for. So I think that's all the sand done there. Pouring it back. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Ah, uh -huh, bits of flock now. I'm going to be using these in future battle reports when the time comes, when they're all done. Part two of this will be uh, up at a later stage. It's just having the time and you know the space to do it. Obviously, once we're in the studio, we'll be trying all sorts. We'll be able to get the water effects. I want to try more water effects, um, make realistic water pools and things like that different things like varnishes and I've seen all sorts of things out there. This is just getting your, your map dry. River terrain. And there you go. That's it, really. Let's tap the flock off, add more if you want to. So part two we'll be adding the water glistening effect on top. Please check out my Patreon page if you can. Please like, share and subscribe and all that good stuff. See you on the next one. Bye for now.